All right, this guy is leveled up. Let's, let's do this. Set, all right. Dust Diviner. A scholar of dust, the hero shares insights with the citizens, leading to an increase in dust harvested in the Empire. Plus one dust on terrain with dust level two. Plus one dust on terrain with dust level three, etc., etc. I'm not even sure how this stuff works, to be honest. Indiana Bones. Strength in the Wild. Plus... Oh, that's good. We're taking this one. It gives us plus two defense on hero. So, with each level that we put into this, we can put up to three levels into it. It will give us plus two defense. And that's good, because we're going to be in combat a lot. All three of the, the trees really are good for this hero, because even if you go with Indiana Bones, which is the tree that every faction gets. Those other two trees are different depending on the faction. Uh, but the, the middle one, the Indiana Bones one, is unique. Or is uh, is not unique. It's ununique in that you can do it with any of the factions and basically it's good for getting more from your searching of ruins and stuff like that. And also in the middle-ish area, I think it gets good for protecting cities and so forth. So it's nice. It's real nice. All right, let's go ahead and get this search up. Okay, here's the other one I was talking about. This is called... Oh, no, it's an Earth Spine. No, that's not what I was talking about. It's like a... It's like, sort of looks like this, but it's more of a bronzish, goldish, yellowish, orangish um, look to it. It's glassite, I guess. That's what the name of it is. I can't really remember. I know it has glass in the word. All right, let's see what's going on with our turns. We got five more turns. Major Empire encountered AI number four. You've encountered the Empire of the Necrophages, which is probably not good because those guys are assholes, I think. I'm gonna go take your ruin real fast, bro. So just uh, simmer down over there, spider or zombie spider, whatever the hell you are. Searching. Nothing there. So you will find quite a bit of these that are just gonna have nothing. And that's why the Indiana Bones one is good because it gives you a bonus percentage to actually finding stuff in the ruins so if you really want to utilize the ruins then to go with the middle tree for your heroes that you're going to be exploring with right now we only have one so there's not much we can do and if you want more you're going to have to buy them from the marketplace and the only way to do that is to actually go to your research and get it to this point rookery which is in your military tree once you have that, we can actually go ahead and uh, research this. So three, four, five. After one and two are done over here, three, four, five will be rider, which is going to be a um, a mounted uh, melee unit, and then rookery, which is your ability to unlock the hero section of the marketplace. And if we go to the marketplace, actually this here is the marketplace. It's not even open yet to look at until we get the rookery unlocked. So you're gonna want the rookery if you won't ever want fucking heroes, basically. I'm sure there are other ways to get heroes, but I haven't figured it any of the other ways out yet. So we aren't gonna bother attacking this guy because they haven't declared war on us yet. If we want to, we can go into the diplomacy thing and we can see now that we are in a cold war with the, uh, the necrophages. And if we want to, we can actually go into the negotiation panel and it gives us things that we can do. Declaration of war is not something we want to do, to be honest. Thanks and warnings. This term will decrease the relation score of the selected empire. Thanks. This will... Okay, so... No, we don't want this. We don't want this. Now, these are the things we can do, okay? So, these are our options for term, and this is their options for term. They have none. That's the idea, is that there's nothing you can really do. All you can do is your stuff, and then what? Nothing. So there's nothing really there. Um, declaration of War and Closed Borders, thanks. I guess we could try that. I don't know. Make an offer. Why not? It doesn't do anything. I'm just saying. It doesn't do anything, as far as I can tell. And the, when I looked it up, they said that it wasn't actually implemented uh, fully. So I'm guessing that's why. So, we're waiting on that feature to be implemented so we can actually do something other than um, fight. Now, we're in a Cold War mode with these guys, so it's inevitable and inevitable that we're going to go into full war at some point. It's just a matter of when they feel like actually doing it. 
All right, so we probably want to get this zone next, just because we know now that there's another zone on the other side that's um, the green guys, the green guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually send him down here to research what's actually in this area as well. And we'll do this. Okay, so we're four turns away from our stalwart being built. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, get this little area uh, re uh, searched to make sure we're not missing anything in this zone. And then we're going to head back towards the city. It's weird. It's bugged. Whatever. Whatevs. What is this? Okay. So this is the Empire plan. We went over this a little bit in my went over. We, uh, we, You basically watched me say, what the hell is this? I have no idea. So what you can do is each, um, each, I don't know what the timetable is, but a certain amount of time that this lasts, you can spend influence points on how you want, on bonuses basically for your city's productions. So if we wanted to, we could do this. Uh, so that for that and for the entire tenure of this term we'll get plus three uh, dust per population on the city but we don't have enough influence points to even bother with it because you need at least 15 so there's nothing we can really do now you can do it all four directions so you can go with a, a bonus to dust a bonus to mil uh, or a reduction to cost of building military units um, a plus to industri industry a plus to science etc etc um, defense we're going to go auto. It's much easier. You don't take as much damage overall. Alright, we took them out. Now we need to go and take these roaming army out. So we're going to go ahead and head down here and then circle back up to the city. What's this say? Oh, this is the thing. Now when we end the turn, this is going to go away. So make sure... The Empire plan is done. If you want anything to do, make sure you do it before you end the turn, because it'll go away once you end it. Okay, so the Prisoner, Slaves, and Volunteers is done. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a thing to research here. Another Arika Ruin there. So we're going to get that. Definitely. Let's go. Search. Oh shit, look at this fucking thing. Holy hell. Oh, we did, we got dust from that one, so that's good. Um, there is a bad snake thing here. It's a... Uh, it's kind of disgusting. Look at this. Holy shit. Right, we're gonna kill that. We're gonna kill the shit out of that. We gotta be careful, though, because we don't want to lose one of our stalwart units. Defensive. Auto. What? Vine snake is dead kind of want to get away from these because it looks like they're kind of getting a little bit like they looks a little bit like they might start getting fresh with us soon all right we're almost there now what's this stalwarts done okay so what we can do now is what you want to do is you want to select the unit you just made it's going to be inside your city so you click on your city you select the stalwart at any of the other units that are in your city that you want to move and hit new army and it'll make a new army unit and uh, take them you can now move them around what we want to do is move our guys here this hero guys and that way they're next to each other and then um, next turn we can put our stalwarts into our army with our hero and that way we'll have the three stalwarts that we need to go research or uh, go search these ruins and complete the quest we have All right, now we go to this, and down here you have a button. You have two options. Uh, transfer selected units to a nearby army, or creates a new army on an empty tile. And then we have this one, which transfers units to the garrison of a nearby city, meaning it'll add it to the city's defenses. And we want to do this one, so we click on this, and then we click on the army we want to go to, and boom, it's done. So now you can see over the top of this guy's head, it has a number three instead of a two, and that's because it has control of three units. So we can actually move a little bit. Now we want to go straight up here 
Pop Pop. We'll do it. Alright, there we go. We've got it all planned out, guys. Alright, so what's building next? The next thing that's in the queue for building on our city is the Dust Dredger, which is going to be the thing that actually gives us a bonus to dust production on both of these tiles. So whenever this is done, we I don't know if you have to build it or not. I think you probably do have to build it. But once we build it, it'll give us plus two to these two tiles, and that means that these two will be producing five dust instead of the three that is already here. These two right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and end the turn and start getting our movement on towards this uh, this ruin. These fucking guys. So, you don't really have to worry about sieges too much, uh, especially early on until they can actually do something whenever they have bigger, a lot more units and bigger armies and stuff. All they really do is uh, stop production of whatever you're trying to build until you can just go and pick them off because they're usually small units that are trying to just uh, blockade you. So if you see like a roaming army, and they'll do it too, if you see a roaming army that's attacking uh, a city of, of one of your other AI players, leave them. Because the entire time that they're sieging that city, that means that that city can't produce anything. Which, until you can actually have allies, is really beneficial. Because everybody's a potential enemy, basically. Let's end this turn and get to moving. So we need to go with... We're trying to avoid fighting here because I don't want to lose somehow lose a stalwart unit and then have to restart this freaking thing. New minor faction systems, of, uh, sisters of mercy. The weird noise just happened. Um, just the seer. They're pretty badass. I think actually, you know, what would be really cool is if we actually should control this area and then get the sisters of mercy on our side. They look pretty badass. Alright, so this mountain is fucking up our plans. But we did find an extra ruin on the way, so we got 60 dust from that. Now we can head over there, and next turn we'll be ready to search this thing. Look at this. What's this? Mineral rich. So we, this is pretty good. We should let's control this too. We're going to control the whole world at this point, basically. Let's see who gives a shit. Search. Done. We got... What do we get from that? Spices. Well, that's not really that great, but... Um, wait, this is a quest updated, a new beginning. The door remains closed, and the mechanism requires quantities of dust to open. Gather 50 du dust and try to open the portal once again. Dismiss. I think we can probably do this. Defeat the army, protecting the ruins. Jesus, this is a really crazy-ass quest. Um, so we need to kill the army that's here. Uh, that's not a problem. I think we can probably go aggressive and just auto-attack these and kill them. Stalwarts just leveled up. Perfect. Now what? Archaeologist. We got a free research from that. That's really good, actually. Minus 10% cost reduction for Era 1 technologies on Empire. Oh, it's fucking amazing. So we just got a free technology that we don't have to worry about researching that we immediately gain the um, effects of. Perfect. That's really good. Um, next quest. Research a total of eight technologies of the first uh, first research era, which we're working towards right now. If we go and look, we have four. Uh, this one's the one we got for free. Five, six. Um, this one's almost done, or should be, I guess. Oh, no, it's not. A, it's not almost done. It don't, but it will be. So, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, once we get the rider... That should be eight, and that'll be the quest in. So we don't even have to worry about them. These two things leveled up. There's nothing you can really do to control how they level. The only thing you control is when your hero levels up, then you get to pick what they have. Skill points. What do we want to do with these? Um, what's this? Iron task mas Taskmaster. Level one, plus four life on unit. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's actually pretty good. But I think maybe defense is better. Hmm. What about this? Nah. 
What's this one? Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with this. And then we'll go up to this and down to this, because it gives us a percentage of defense on unit, which will work good well with this one, which gives us a, a, a actual certain number of defense. So they'll work together to uh, boost the defense higher and higher. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Our, our hero is going to be such a defensive badass. Oh, we didn't even get to search it yet. Oh, 60 does, thanks. Sweet. Alright, um, here's the glass steel. Glass steel, not glass side. It's glass steel, and uh, this is used for armor, I think. Um, one is used, of the titanium and the glass steel, one is used for weapons usually, and one is used for armor usually, and I think glass steel is for armor. And then we've got this thing up here, a mineral rich area. Uh, so I think what we want to do now is start working towards getting our second city. So I'm going to send this guy back to the area of our of our main city now. And this is a tough call, but I think we're going to want to build a settler at some point. It's It won't let me, however. It won't let me build him. I don't know why. It doesn't say why. Can colonize a neutral region. Can be killed with thus. Maybe it's the faction. Maybe I can only have one city. I doubt that. That doesn't seem like something. Um, we'll figure it out later. But I, I've noticed that the settler has been blacked out for some time, actually. Let's see here. Dust porn. Dust dependent. Empire Mint, Advanced Armor, Stalwarts, Rider, Dust Bishop? What the hell is that? Another unit. It doesn't give me any idea that, um, that we have a, uh, Sort of like I was thinking with Civilization V, you can pick Venice and you can only have one city with Venice. But this this one doesn't seem to have that issue, according to the, what I'm looking at. But these two are blacked out, too. Maybe we just can't afford it. It's 145 gear. Holy shit, we don't even have anything close to that. We're only making four. One, two, three, four... Oh my god, that's not a lot at all, is it? So, just to even get close to making a settler, we would need to wait forever. That's, uh, that's nuts. It is a issue, I think, because... We actually had enough to make the wine extractor, which may be why we're so poor with it now. This is called the industrial potential for the city. It's four and four, so we're getting eight a turn, I guess. So maybe it won't take that long. By the, maybe by the time we get the wine extractor built, we'll be up to a point where we can actually just pop a settler into the queue. Let's see, what's going on? Oh, you know what might be happening here? They're not doing anything yet, I don't think. Usually whenever... Oh, wait, 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 wait. They might be actually doing something. No, they're not. Because whenever you're getting sieged, a wall will come up around your city that you can see. And also, you'll look down at your um, construction queue down here. And they'll instead of saying X amount of turns, it'll have like an infinity logo, I think. So let's see what happens. What do you think you're doing, bug fucks? Research, okay, they're moving away now. Um, advanced filigree is done. They're now researching the rider unit, so which will be good because then we can add those to our repertoire of uh, ownage. Repertoire of ownage. All right, uh, what's next? We've got our guy coming back. It's really unfortunate. I was really looking forward to um, putting a city in um, this place, more in Morinlac, so that we could 
um, get the Sisters of Mercy into our our alliance, if you will, because we can then um, subjugate them, <laughs> basically, and make of them our uh, our peeps, you know. All right, we got one more turn, and then the dust dredger is done. Which actually did cost 80, 80 industry to make. Simmer down, beetles. Jesus. All right, and what's this say? Oh, the dust dredger is done. Wine extractor is being made. It'll take eight turns to create that. We're watching contently to see if the settler icon lights up. Where is the um, the total um, accumulated industry points? Where is that at? Should say somewhere, I imagine. Maybe it's on the... Maybe the, um... No, it doesn't say anywhere. I can't, I can't find it, so I'm dumb, probably. What's this, um, list of quests? Manage army units, etc., etc. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I think what hap- No, I don't know what happens. Fuck, fuck it, I don't care. Or no, I don't care or no. I think it What happens is, um... I think I think this is how it works. Okay, so we have we have eight per turn of industry. It costs six. This one costs, for for instance, sixty. So it just divide um, eight per turn into sixty, and that tells you how many turns it's going to take. And that's how you figure out how long it's going to take. But this is not even lit up at all. It says. No idea, guys. I'm sorry. I have no idea. Um, we're just going to go with it and hope that at some point it reveals itself to us. What's this thing? Huh. Alright. The wine extractor is what's being built right now. So it shouldn't take too long. But now the good news is... Oh shit, what happened? Declaration of War. Contract signed by A. I uh, told you guys it was inevitable. So they just declared war on us officially. The necrophages. So we'll watch out for that. Diplomatic relations change. Cold War change to war. Told you. Told ya. Alright, so we're going to have to worry about them coming and sporadically attacking our city, basically. What does this guy do again? Plus one from wetland. Oh wait. I don't know, who cares. So we're gonna have to leave our hero in the general area at least. Let's attack these guys. Auto dead done um we're going to leave these guys at least in the general area from now on so that we can defend our city if they come and attack it which they will in turn oh it's winter um minus 50 percent movement it's a really loud noise it's just made um minus one to food which is nothing minus one to dust which is something and then minus one to vision and expansion. What the hell does that even mean? I don't know. So that's going to be an issue. But winter seems to be really short in this game. Um, unless maybe it's some sort of based on uh, what difficulty you decide to go with. But as you can see, now our tiles are, are down from five to four. They were up to five because we, we actually researched the... Um, what is it called? The, just the dust thing that gives you bonus to the uh, river tiles. But winter shouldn't take too long to get past. And we're not doing a whole lot of moving around, so it shouldn't affect us too much. You can hear those beetle bastards just beetling it around down here. Mm -hmm. 
listen, listen to them. Here they come. Here they come, guys. They're coming to get get crunk with us, and I'm not I'm not happy about it. So, uh, Jocelyn, get ready to murder some beetles promptly. What do they have? They have three things called necro necro drones, which I'm hoping are easy to kill. They do have a lot of life. It looks like. How much do these guys have? These guys only have 49 units of life, and these guys have 66. Hopefully their defense is really low. Come on then, get some. Defensive auto. We, there's no winner. How is that even possible that there's no winner? They're all dead. <laughs> Dismiss. All right, where's our, oh, you know what? I think they've, everybody died. How did that even happen? How did everybody die? Someone had to be alive. Inspect. This guy's injured as hell. Um, how do I revive him again? Disabled for 20 turns. How do we get to the academy is what I'm wanting to know. There we go. This thing. Now we can restore him for 20, 200 um, monies. Which we're going to do because we need him. To make sure that they don't send another army after us with us no without defenses. All right, let's get let's get rid of this now. Assigned a city. We'll put him in Brahma until we can get him on army. Dismiss that. We'll dismiss. We'll apply this because we don't really want any bonuses necessarily. Wait a minute, actually. I was thinking that we could put it towards Empire and Expansion, but it doesn't really give you anything. It gives you 33% to buyout reduction on city. Building buyout reduction. Oh, I get it. So you can basically spend money to uh, not have to wait for the building to be built via turns. You can just spend money to immediately make it be built. And this thing to uh, makes it cheaper by 33% to do that which is not really worth it, my time right now I want to have all of our all of our uh, repu what is it called this thing um, plus one star it's influence that's what it is we want all of our influence saved for other things I guess really I'm not sure if we do I think all we've really been using influence points on was um, diplomacy and diplomacy doesn't even work I think maybe since we're at war, maybe putting 15 towards uh, unit cost reduction is a good idea. So there we go. We just did it. All right. Um, so can't make a settler yet because um, the gods hate us. Um, can make a stalwart, which we're gonna have to. We're going to have to start making these, unfortunately, um, because our units are dead. So there's that. All right. We're going to intern. And as you can see, once we ended the turn, immediately we lost about, um, I say lost, in a, like it's a bad thing, it's a good thing. We don't have to do, like, it took away about two turns from how long this is going to take because of the unit cost reduction. It's now down to eight instead of like 11 or something like that. Uh, wine extractor's done. So if we go down here somewhere... This, this thing now has buildings on it because it now has a wine extractory. So we got like our own little vineyard thing going on down here. Aw, oh, shit. It gives us a ton of uh, gold dust production, rather. Wow, what a, what a day it is. What a fucking day it is. All right, Brahma. I think it's time to bid you farewell for a little bit. Next time we're going to come back and we're going to start building a little bit of an army. So we need, I think we want to have, our bi our next big goal is to get Rookery so that we can buy a second hero. And that way we can have a hero always staying in Brahma and a hero off exploring as well. That's our main objective. Um, and also I'm going to figure out why our settler can't be built. So we can figure it out and fix it so that we can go and head and own this up to the north. I'm going to do one more turn. And that's it. We're up to 42. 
the answer to all questions in the universe, and also the turn we're going to end on. So until next time, I'm Ash. This is Ash Plays Endless Legend. Welcome to the first full Let's Play. If you guys watched the first episode, then that's gonna that's like a first look. This is gonna be our new series. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any um, answers to any of the questions I've asked, like why we can't build a cellar or anything else, if you have any pro tips, you see stuff that we're doing wrong, which I'm sure there's a million things I'm doing wrong, um, just leave a comment below. Hit the like button if you enjoy the series. And be sure to hit subscribe. So until next time, play on.